Hello, welcome to Destiny Saloon tutorial. This is part two of uh, questions on GP. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Now we have a question here from Wyek, theory question. So we have to show our workings here. So it says the sum of the second and third term of a geometric progression is six times the fourth term. Find the two possible values of the common ratio. Then it's the second part says if the second term is eight and the common ratio is positive, find the sixth this find the first six terms this is a this is a long one uh so let's start so it's the sum of the second and the third term the second term will be a a r then the third term will be a r square remembering this formula is six times the fourth term and the fourth term will be what a r cube so here the sum of the second and third term that is a r plus a r square is equal to six times the fourth term a r three so here let's look for how this is maths and uh, this is an equation so we'll know for how to manipulate it to get a common ratio so here let's cancel out a so what's common to this side? We have a r. So let's bring it out. A r bracket one plus r equal to six a r cube. So here we can divide both sides by a r. Remembering this change of subject formula, cancel this, cancel, and we're going to be left with uh, two r's there. That's r square. So we are left with 1 plus r equal to 6r square. So here we have an equation. That's uh, minus r minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is factorization. We have to look for the common term. 6 times 1 is 6. What uh, factors of 6 would give us minus 1? That's 3 and 2. So it would be minus 3 plus 2. So we have 6r square minus 3r plus 2r minus 1 equal to 0. So here, let's bring out the common terms. We have 3 brackets, that's 3r, bracket r minus 1 plus, what is common here? What is common here? Sorry, this should be 2r, 2r minus 1. And we have 1 bracket 2r minus 1 equal to 0. So we are left with 3r plus 1 equal to 0. And 2r minus 1 equal to 0. So this will give us 3r equal to minus 1 divided by 3 divided by 3. So r here is what minus 1 over 3. Here we have 2r equal to 1. And Divided by 2, divided by 2, and we have here r is equal to 1 over 2. So these are our two possible values of r as a common ratio. The question says, if the second term is 8 and the common ratio is positive, find the first six term. Common ratio is positive. So it means we'll pick this positive value, which is half. So and they say, if the second term is 8, let us first find the first term, since the second term is 8. So since T2 is equal to AR, and the set, and set is 8, where we know R as our positive value. So we have A times 1 over 2 equal to 8. If we multiply, uh, take 2 here, we have what? A is equal to 16. So our first term is 16. And the question says, find the first six terms first six terms we already know our first term and we know our second term as eight so how do we have to get our third term so what's our third term our third term is a r square where we know our a as what 16 our r as as one over two and this is one over two square one over two square where this is 16 times one over four divide divide cancel so this will give us what four our third term is 4. What's our fourth term? A r cube, which is 16 times 1 over 2 cube. 
which is 16 times 1 over 8. Cancel, cancel this. to 2, 8 will go here in 2 times. So we have what? 8. Our fifth term is a raised to the power 4, which is 16, multiplied by 1 over 2 raised to the power 4, which will give us 16 times 1 over 16. Cancel this, we have 1. And our sixth term, finally, is a r raised to the power 5, which will give us 16 times 1 over 2, all into power 5, which will have 16 times 1 over 32. 16 will go here, 1, 16 will go here 2 times, and we have half. So therefore, what is the first, find the first six term. Our first six term is, the first term being, the first term being 16, comma, second term 8, third term 4, fifth term 1, and our sixth term 1 over 2. So this is our final answer. Please, in theory, make sure you show your workings clearly because each step gets a mark thank you for staying tuned as we go to our next question